guys, Pitbull here, and today in this video, guys, today's video is another one of my Lego minifigure, or Lego miscellaneous customs. That is right, guys, so these are mi uh, miscellaneous minifigure customs, and they're Ninjago for now. Might move on to some other stuff, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to turn this thing into a new series, because you guys seem to like the first, or sort of, episode of the series. It got pretty good amount of views, so, you know, turn it into a series. Don't have the many series, series is on my channel. So yeah, guys, this is going to be a new series. But anyways, guys, I have some more, nine more figures for you guys from the Ninjago show, the Ninjago TV show, peppered throughout all of the current seven seasons right now. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the first three minifigs. Alrighty guys, so here are the first two minifigures of this miscellaneous minifigure showcase. So you guys, from left to right we have Garmin with his mega weapon and hair and hairpiece. We have Scales Jr. and then on the far right we have Kai in his stone warrior disguise. We go ahead and give you a quick 360 look at these minifigs. So guys, first of all, with Garmadon, this minifigure basically showcases my custom mega weapon, and that's just made from a Loki staff piece, two shurikens, a golden, a, uh, a triangular cone piece molded in pearl gold, and then we have this weapon over here, it's a golden chainsaw, and then two of these blades, and over here we you can see that we have uh, Garmadon's normal Skulkin helmet, and that's perched on a light blue plain minifig head, and he's just holding that, gave him some hair, and that is just uh, a, so a plain black hair piece. And over here for scales, I gave him uh, some short black legs because, you know, he's Scales Jr., he's a snake serpentine kid. And then I gave him a black Tron shirt, you know, just because. And then I also gave him the gray hands because that's what the Hypnoprise hands colors are actually. So yeah. And then I gave him a couple of candy bits because if you have seen Tournament of Elements, you know that. He is seen throwing candy to uh, in the corridor of elders that episode, and yeah, so it's just some uh, ground one by one tiles over there, and then Kai in his stone warrior disguise. Now, in the show, uh, I think it was the third to last episode of season two. It's where the ninja go into disguise to help Isako's plan, and they uh, switch out the arms for their arms that are the different colors for their kimono outfits, but Kai's arms are red for his kimono outfit, so I did not need to switch it out from the Stone Warrior body. And then over here, I did give him his elemental blade because uh, they do transform into their kimono robes after when, when Cole does blow their cover, unfortunately. And then also, I just removed the Stone Warrior head to make, or to pretty much give, uh, give Kai, they put the, <laughs> what am I even saying? Uh, give Kai a stone warrior disguise and the mouthpiece keeps on shooting off for some reason that's what I don't like about these stone warrior helmets but yeah guys as I stall to put the mouthpiece back on really really quickly there you go and yeah there we go we have the first three minifigures let's go ahead and move on to the next three okay guys moving on to the next three minifigs from left to right over here we have Captain Soto in his non-jail Garb, and then we have Sensei Lloyd and Kendo Nia. Now, again, let me go ahead and give you guys a quick 360 turn of all of these minifigures so you can see all around them. Yeah, Captain Soto does have a secondary face, or not a secondary face, but he has some back head printing, and that's just a little ponytail, rat tail sort of thing. But yeah, so Captain Soto, he has this weird torso, torso that I decided to give him. I don't know why, just because I could not find a pirate torso. so turns out I don't have any classical pirates, so that stinks, but, you know, you have the normal Captain Soto face, you have his peg leg, and then I did not, I did not have another hook piece, unfortunately, so I can't give him a golden hook, he has his feathered hat, and he has a normal, whoops, he just fell off, and he has his normal pirate cutlass right there. So, yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for Captain Soto, and yeah, so, he has the brown hand in the Cryptarium Prison Breakout set, so, you know, I give him that. And then, for Sensei Lloyd, guys, sorry, let me go ahead and tilt him back a little bit so you can see his eyes. There you go. But, I gave him an authentic Sword of Sanctuary. There you go, guys, I actually made this from different pieces, 
this blue dish is from the Phantom Zone polybags in the Lego Batman movie. Uh, this this piece, the uh, golden lightsaber note from any from multiple Ninjago sets. They come from any Ninjago set, or pretty much a lot of them. So that's there. And then this piece I actually got from the Lego Ninja, uh, not Lego Ninjago, uh, Lego Dimension Starter Pack, and that's on the portal. So yeah, there's that for the bottom of the hilt. And then the sword is one of the new swords, or one of the more recent molds of the sword, so it's more smoother and shiny, so it does look like a reflective blade that can show you your future, as the sword of, that's what the Sword of Sanctuary does. Now, how is it fitting without the entire thing jutting out? I actually took a strong pair of scissors and cut off a bit of the of a golden katana. As you can see here, I have the extra bit over here. And you can just, you know, stick that back together if I wanted to. But, you know, I took this into consideration and I decided to do it because I have lots and lots of extra golden katanas. So, I felt it was okay to do that. And, yeah, guys. And what Sensei Lloyd is comprised of is he is comprised of his Sensei's rebooted Garmadon, Sensei Garmadon robes. And then he has a, his green half mask, he has a silver conical hat, or Sensei Wu's hat from Evil Wu, and then we have the 2014 uh, Lloyd face that we know today, and then he has the Zukin, what is it, the Zukin scabbard, and that's just there if, to uh, put in his sort of sanctuary and put it towards his head so he can have it on his back. Just go ahead and put that on there, there you go. And yeah, that's what it looks like when it is harnessed on his, onto his back. Alright guys, so for Sensei, or not for Sensei, <laughs> for Kendo Mia, it's pretty much her original water robes, water ninja robes, and then I gave her a silver katana, and she has one of those battle claw pieces from the 2012, uh, what is it, Lego Ninjago Kendo J, and all the min figs are falling off the stand this video, awesome. But yeah, guys, so here she is, and she does have her city face. I decided to give that to her. I don't know why. And yeah, and if we go ahead and remove her kendo armor again, standard kendo, kendo armor with the normal chest plate and the helmet. You know, you can see it's just her normal water, her, her first type of water ninja robes from, uh, what is it, Possession. And yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for all of these minifigs really quick. And, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the final three. Alright, guys, so final three minifigs of this random or miscellaneous LEGO Ninjago minifig showcase. So, from left to right, we have the Tinkerer in the Criterium Prism, and then, not Prism, Prison, and then in the middle, we have a modified Nauticon, and to the far right, we have a modified Skybound J. Now guys, let's go ahead and go into the Tinkerer. Now, the Tinkerer does have, if you guys have seen him before, he's not this accurate. This is probably like the worst representation of him in LEGO. He has one of those arms with the X-Force hand and said I gave him a silver arm because I don't own one of those. But then I did use, or the seed piece for this minifig was Cyrus Borg's hair and with the half Cyrus Borg, Cy Cyborg sort of thing, so that's there. And then I gave him this face, this Karloff looking sort of face right there. And you go ahead and just put that on. He does look super different in the show. So I tried my best to get all the pieces. He has this normal prison robe, or prison outfit, I guess. He's got some black trousers. And then he has, you know, just a, uh, let's call that a wrench. And that's just a black extra for his hand. And yeah, there you go, guys. He does have one exposed arm on the left and on the other side. He's called the Tinkerer, and that is when the ninja get trapped in Criterion Prison. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to all you guys, this, uh, all, all these three minifigs are from the Skybound season, or based on the Skybound season. So then, yeah, when the ninja, uh, during Skybound, when they get into Criterion Prison, uh, this guy tries to take apart Zane, if you guys remember that episode. And then over here, guys, in the middle, we have Nauticon. Now, my modified Nauticon, it's really not that much. But I decided to give him the four golden daggers when he tries to infiltrate uh, the uh, stronghold in Hiroshi's Labyrinth to obtain the Realm Crystal. And then these four these four daggers are comprised of some uh, golden scythe blades, which you can get from the Scythe of Quakes. Yeah, four, but I don't have four Scythe of Quakes. It's just 
I had these pieces, and I'm like, hey, why not? And you can also use these daggers for Samurai if you do rewatch the pilot episodes. They kind of have the same color scheme. And then the handles for them are just black lightsaber hilts. Now, to get this hollow stud in dark red, what you need is the Dragon Forge set. That's where it comes in. And I finally figured that out, and I'm like, hey, let's make a modified Nauticon. And that's how you keep the hairpiece, and it looks like the hairband goes along with the color scheme. And throughout the entire Skybound season, his half mask, his maroon half mask, is like under his chin. So then what a lot of people do is flip it around, and that works perfectly fine, at least for me, guys. And yeah, that pretty much does it for the last two characters. Moving on to the final character of this minifig showcase video, we have my modified Skybound J. Now, there's really not much about this that's really modified, except for the fact that he has sort of that black bar over his mouth. Now, why is that? If you guys have seen Skybound, then in the final episode, I think it's like something, I don't remember the name, but after Nauticon gets infinite, gets granted infinite wishes, then uh, he says, I wish you don't know, give your last wish because Jay is the only ninja left with his last wish to save the day and reverse the, series, the events of Skybound. So that's why Nauticon wishes that he said Jay couldn't speak, so then he would put that metal plate over his mouth. And so that's just done for me by I cut out a small piece of tape, tape that on, or before I did that, I colored it with Sharpie and then I cut out a rectangle and stuck it onto where his mouth is. And that's just the normal 2011 to 20. 16, I think, J face is the generic one that we've all seen for the majority of the Ninjago line. Then the rest is just his normal Skybound guard, and he has his normal hairpiece. And yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for our entire showcase video. Let's go ahead and wrap it all up. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's very awesome video. I am very, very glad to show you to showcase these uh, nine more minifigs miscellaneous ninjago minifigs to you guys i'm just very glad because you know you guys seem to like the other video as i said before in the intro so yeah guys thank you so very much for watching and so uh, yeah i will see you guys all later thanks to please do hit that like and subscribe button for some more fresh content on my channel and yeah i'll see you guys all later thanks to tuning in this is big Fumer, signing out peace out guys